Uh, my next guest, another very popular performer who is making her television uh, dramatic debut in a TV movie airing this Monday night, December 17th at 9 p.m. right here on NBC. It's a holiday fairy tale called A Mom for Christmas. Please welcome Olivia Newton-John. <laughs> To sing tonight. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a great voice. Thank you. Oh, Thank very you. I like the, I like those boots. Thank yeah, you. Like boots. Yeah, kind of a stylish, hip waiting kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I go fishing in them usually. Anyway, I know. Very nice. <laughs> Christmassy, you got the big belt there. Yes. I never know when I'm insulting women. A big belt is always a too big. No, no, it's fine. It's perfect. <laughs> you know, it, but it's, uh, it's hard to come. It holds it all together. So you got all your shopping done? All the Christmas? Uh... Actually, for the first time, just about. Really? See, women yeah. are so good with it. I start around. Uh, the 24th, <laughs> yeah. Really, you've got it all done? Well, most of it. I have a great secretary, I'm lucky. Oh, yeah? So, and I do a lot of catalogue shopping. Oh, well, that's oh, true. I have one of those, we did that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one of those and one of those. See, my wife, my wife, in July, she'll go, oh, here's something perfect for my mom. I'll go, it's July. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the most difficult to buy presents for in your family, would you say? Um, I think my husband, because he... He doesn't really like jewelry, and he has lots of gadgets, and so I'm always kind of stuck for him. And also, um, teenagers, I'm never quite sure if I'm doing the right thing. You buy them clothes, you think, yeah, yeah they'll hate them, and oh, yeah, that's teenage that's... nephew. <laughs> my dad was not good. I remember when I was in high school, my dad got me, <laughs> it was for Christmas, my dad got me an Archie lunchbox. <laughs> You know, my mother said, oh, just take it to school. I go, I'm not going to school with an Archie lunchbox. Oh, just, your father got it for you. Just take the Archie lunch. I'm walking out of the house with Archie and Jughead lunchbox. I'm 18. So I had to learn. <laughs> now, is Christmas different in Australia? It, well, it's summer. It's you know, very different. It's, it's like very hot. Christmas in L.A. You know. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like this, although Los Angeles, up until the last few years, was, was kind of cold. It's, hasn't it hasn't seemed hotter. The last couple of years, Christmas seems to be like you got to turn the fans on instead of the fires on. Yeah, a little bit. Sit by the pool, chest nuts <laughs> roasting, holding the open fire. But there's more of a um, a feeling of Christmas here. I think in Australia we used to take um, turkey to the beach quite a lot, and then have take turkey to, to, the, to the beach, beach and have a picnic. And then at night sometimes we'd have a, a very late meal, very late at night because it was too hot. Oh, I see. And of course in the summer though, yeah. it's freezing. In the summer, yes, yeah, it's your saying, summer, saying. it's freezing yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. so it's around. <laughs> so we have our holidays at Christmas time, so the big holidays for the kids are over Christmas. So right, so, all, so you just naturally have it in the summer. Yeah. So you never had it in the snow when you were growing up or anything, right? No, so that, well, that seems I lived in Australia, uh, in England, sorry, until I was five. So I did. I do oh, remember okay. one Christmas there. Okay. Now, do you one of these people that recycles all the ribbons and all that type of thing? The <laughs> well, yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to this year, and I've told all my friends, please don't put a lot of wrapping on, and or expect to see it on your present next year. <laughs> see, like, so. uh, my wife will unwrap like this, you know, peel the paper. You know, I just <laughs> that paper, you tear it open, and you throw all the paper. That's the fun, is making a huge I mess. I, I used to make fun of my mom, because she does the same thing, and saves all the string and all mm. the ribbons, but now I realize there's really a point to it, because, yeah. you know, it's so wasteful, True. really. You see the piles of paper afterwards, so... Um, my daughter and I, when we were wrapping up presents, used the brown paper from the shopping bags, and we... She drew on them and we stamped on them and did our own, and it was fun. Oh, there you right? go. There you go. Now, do you have a, do, do, do any of these people come up with environmentally safe? Well, I've done a lot of plants this year, a lot of trees oh, and good, plants yeah. and living things that are good, you know, clean our air up a little bit. <laughs> well, we, we, we used to do. You know, we used to do. <laughs> In fact, at my folks' house, at my folks' house in New England, when we were kids, my dad and I would go out and we'd dig a tree up uh -huh. and we'd bring it in the house, and then after we, you know, we keep all the soil, mm -hmm. and then we plant it in the, we have a 300 foot driveway, and if you go, go there now, you see all the trees, well, the tree, the well they used yeah. to be like 3 feet up to 10 feet, now they're 10 feet up to 30 feet, that's but all the trees I had when I was a kid are all oh, still that's there, lovely. so we I can do go that back, too. And, yeah. I think the last eight years we've had a living tree, now how about your daughter, what does she want? Christmas, what kind she of thing? wants um, <laughs> a princess dress, I, I, I asked her to write a letter to Santa last week, and I thought she was going to ask for all these elaborate things, and she asked for a princess dress, last year it was the little mermaid dress, I'm sure all the mums out there know this face. See, I don't and know as a princess thing. dress. The mermaid dress would be hard to get around, I would think. You know? <laughs> princess dress you can wear later or something. That's true. And also, she, she has a little friend in hospital who's sick. Can I say hi to Colette? You may say hi, hi to Colette. Chloe's best friend is sick, and Colette, and Colette, get well soon. And that's our big wish for Christmas is that. Now, what, what kind of gifts do you get your folks? What do you get for them? What um... Kind of Folks. I'm not good. I can't tell because they might be watching. Oh, that's true. Oh, they're here. <laughs> yeah, my mum's here actually. Oh, okay. My dad. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. You don't want to give it away. It's tough to give little kids environmentally safe gifts. You know, they want 
Oh, great. Mm. Great, a tree, Mom, right? A tree, Thanks, this Mom. would be great. Thanks. Thanks. But you can give, like, uh, Rainforest Crunch, and you can give people... Uh, rainforest? Yeah, they what make... It's Rainforest Crunch. It's all the nuts and stuff that come out of the rainforest. Oh, I, I think see. It's a good idea. It kind of I promotes see. stuff there. Oh, these are candies, not actual yeah, candies. people that come out of... Oh, I thought so. I think it was... Just crazy people that come out of the rainforest. Right. You know, I'm thinking, gee, that's not very nice. That's a terrible thing. Well, tell me about a mom for Christmas. Now, what is this about? It's a mom for holiday? Christmas. Yeah, it's a holiday story. It's very sweet. It's about um, a little girl who um, doesn't have a mom. Her mom died when she was three, and she lives with her dad, who's a workaholic. And um, she hangs out in this department store, and there's a wishing well there. And to cut a very long story short, she makes a wish for Christmas, and the wish is for her mom. And I'm a mannequin in the store, and I come to life, and breeze into her life. Um, and you're the mom. I'm the mom. I'm Grant. I'm the Grant. Gee, where is this wishing well? Gee, this... <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, gee, this is... You know, you could... Actually, you know... <laughs> you could make quite a good an adult theme movie. I mean, this... <laughs> Actually, we have a clip. We have a clip. We have a... Let's take a look we at the clip. clip. We have a clip. Yes. This is the mom for Christmas. <laughs> Some car. 1961 Jaguar. Drives like a dream. Can you charge a gas to Mr. Slocum, my dad? Not without his card. Original wire spoke wheels. Look, just five dollars. Sorry. Excuse me. This is kind of an emergency, and we don't have any cash, but I do have a bracelet here worth well over five dollars. And I got this bracelet you could have as well. Here, for packing things. No, thank you. Twin overhead camshafts. Wilkins. All right. It's my treat. You know, I'm a mannequin and I've never really experienced life outside the department store. And uh, the man, the, the chauffeur, was also a mannequin. This explains the... He just offers the guy packing stuff because oh, he I doesn't see. know what else to do. And the, <laughs> otherwise Wait. it's a little odd if you don't know anything about the store. You can tell it's a fantasy because you're getting free gasoline. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. Was this a Christmas dream show or what, ladies and gentlemen? Clint Eastwood was here. Whitney Houston, this is who wrote her new album, I'm Your Baby Tonight. Olivia Newton John, the mom for Christmas, which is on on the 17th, right? Johnny will be back tomorrow night, and I'll be here all next week. So have a nice holiday, everybody. Well, I'll see you before then. I'll be right here. Coming up next, Isabella Rossellini and comedian Fred Willard. Join Dave on Late Night with David Letterman. Then Dick Schaap visits later with Bob Gossett.